Hey Habs fans, Alex Newark here. Uh, first time in the dressing room here today and uh, I got some questions that you guys put together for me so I'm going to answer a few here now. Liz Barolius asks, welcome to Montreal. Who was the first Hab to reach out to you after you got traded? Um, that's a good question and I, I need to go back through my phone because I feel like whoever did might want to claim um, the first prize. but. Um, turned off my phone for probably a day and, and when I got back to it, almost the whole team had reached out to me, so it was a pretty cool feeling. Mary Lou LeBlanc asks, uh, which player are you most excited to play with? Um, that's a tough question. Uh, I think, you know, there's a lot of guys come to mind, uh, you know, play with guys like Caulfield and Suzuki, um, and then to be kind of reunited with some guys I played with before, like Gooley, Doc, and, and uh, Justin Barron. Um, a lot of excitement throughout the roster. Justin Lay asked, who do you model your game after and what is your favorite meal? Um, I always liked watching Crosby when I was growing up, uh, Maritimer, and um, I, I wouldn't say that I really model my game after him, but I like watching him and, and uh, he does so many things well, so it's, it's good to take some stuff from him. Um, and my favorite meal, um, probably just a big steak, it's my go-to. Rafael DiCabellis asked, what made you choose number 15? Uh, I wore 15 at World Juniors and I wore it at the U18s with Hockey Canada, but um, I actually went down the list a little bit. I didn't realize how many numbers were retired. Um, it was 18, 19, 16, 15. So um, <laughs> few, were, few were taken, but I'm happy to be in 15. I like the number and uh, I'm happy to be wearing it with the, uh, with the Habs. Matthew Farkas asked, have you ever visited Montreal before? Um, I have, yeah, I've, I've visited a few times before. Um, it was funny, we were just out looking at the rink and we saw one of the uh, tours going on at the Bell Center and uh, I remember doing that with my grandmother when I was younger growing up, so um, a lot of memories in this city and excited to make a lot more. Colin Rogers asks, have you had a chance to talk to Marty at all yet? Does he have a plan for where you're going to play? How do you feel about him as a coach? Um, yeah, I've talked to him uh, after I got traded. He uh, seems to be a great coach. I've heard so many great things from everyone that's played for him and played with him. Um, and I think he's, uh, he's going to be great for myself and, and to help grow this team um, in the next few years. Samara Siddiqui asks, what is one song you're going to try to add to the locker room rotation? That's a great question. Um, I know it can be controversial sometimes, but I'd like to add some nickel back into the locker room if it hasn't already been added. Uh, so hopefully it's uh, already in there. Dylan Reed asks, do the boys in the locker room ever give you a look when you say something that's particularly common in Newfoundland around them? <laughs> yes, they do. And I'm sure they're uh, going to be giving me a few looks when I throw out some Newfie slang. Um, throw them off a little bit. Howitzer Hockey asks, if you were stranded on an island by yourself with no communication devices, what would you do to be saved? Wow, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> I feel like uh, I'd try to make a fire or something to be noticed. Or there's like something you can do with like rocks, I think, or like glass. Hopefully there's some glass around. Or, like, I don't know. Great question, though. Uh, thanks for the questions, guys. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you guys at the Bell Center when the season starts.